Hello everyone. Today, as you can see, I'm in, in my kitchen. I would like to show you some tricks uh, to you can save um, the coriander for a bit longer. Chelsea brought a bunch of coriander for me from a shopping center and I, I will show you how to save it. You can see um, this bunch, it's um, some are dried. Um, I have to take it off from this jar and clean it off and I will show you what I do next. At this point, I took all the all the dead leaves off from the fresh ones. I separated them um, both in different places. The next thing I will do is the stems. I will break the, as you can see, they are half brown here because it's from yesterday. And I will change the, the water from the jar as well. And I will put a, a clean water in that very cold water and I'll take this dried stems off. The next way of um, storing coriander is that I've just washed some leaves, uh, a, a small bunch of leaves, but you have to dry it, dry it properly to store it in the fridge. So I'll just dry and show you the next step. Leaves are all dried. So I will take a container and put a paper or a tissue inside the container and uh, you can put your leaves in and store however long you want in the fridge and put another paper so that it's covered thoroughly inside I never, I don't want it uh, to be in the fridge. I like only my jar and no, no air should be, it should be sealed. If the air goes in, it will, the coriander will get sticky. So, and I, this is another way of doing the coriander. So friends, my second trick uh, to open the jar, I have to uh, jar here. I, I don't want to open the pasta because I'm not using it today. So most of the time we use the um, olive. So I will show you how to open this jar. This is silk pack jar. So the easy way, I had few problems with uh, opening it with a knife and um, I even cut my um, fingers when I'm opening it with the knife. So um, this is the easy way. My hot water is running and I will just make the lid warm with the, as you can see. Here it is and the jar is open now. So, yeah. This is my second trick. So the next trick is uh, the chopping board. This is my chopping board. Um, it has been with me for years and there's lots of crack on them. Um, I want to show you, this is the first time I'm using this trick. So let's check if this trick is working because uh, if you use onions and all those different chopping things on this, um, and uh, this burn thing, I won't think that will go. So I have a lemon here. Um, I cut it into, it is an old one. So I'll cut that lemon and I need to put some salt on there. So I put a lot of salt and I need to Wrap it with uh, my lemon. I think it will smell amazing because I like lemon very much. I use most of the lemon in most of my food curries. So I will show you, I've just 
done it and I will show you after scrubbing the back. I will wash it with the uh, fairy liquid now and I'll check how it cleans well. Yeah, it looks cleaner than before, it's not bad, it does work I think but these marks will not go because they are very old marks. This is my last and final trick friends, um, this trick I love the most uh, uh, is to uh, sharpen it. Uh, you just need to take any cup and uh, your any a knife so you just go behind the cup and just go you know front ways or side ways whichever you want i love this trick the most because i use all the time the knife i like sharp knives because i like to cut it very thinly so here you are it will be very sharp you can cut your fingers be careful um that's all for today thank you for watching friends uh if you like my video please do like and subscribe 